Hi everyone, welcome to Dreamspace TV here in One Microsoft Place in Dublin. My name is Amanda. And I'm Corey. In today's episode, we're going to continue our coding journey with Microbit, but we're going to look at well-being. In our last episode, we became energy efficient with the Microbit, and we programmed the Microbit to display a message if the room got too hot or even too cold. So let's review that code, shall we? Yeah, definitely. Okay, so it looks really, really good. And I know by looking at this, that if I keep on my coding journey, and if I put my engineering hat on, I could actually use this code and I could hook up a micro bit to a switch, oh, couldn't I? Oh, very cool, yeah. And I could use the programming statement, if the temperature is greater than 20 degrees Celsius, well then, turn the heating off because it's too hot. And the micro bit could do that. Okay, amazing. So there's ways to always improve. And I suppose, Corey, we don't always have to be able to do it, but it's nice to be able to imagine what's possible, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah, okay, brilliant. So we've done lots so far. And in today's episode, we are gonna continue, but now will be a good time to pause and actually brainstorm what you've learned about coding so far. Okay, so I think we'll brainstorm too, Corey, because yeah. it's nice to recap over things. So I'm going to come over and maybe we'll do a little mind map. Yes, let's. And see what we think. So we'll go into our whiteboard. And we're just going to write coding into the center, will I? Yeah. Yeah. This page is going to be full, I feel. <laughs> yeah. We've done so much. Okay. So I suppose, first of all, we've learned what coding is, haven't we? Yeah. So what is it, Corey? Coding is just a language that we give to a computer so we're actually able to get it to perform instructions or do tasks. Yeah, yeah, so just sets of instructions. And in our case, we're given our micro bit instructions right now at the moment. Exactly. Uh, we also looked at why coding was important. Exactly. So we were talking about technology in the future and how that was crucial for everything we do, no matter what industry we work in or even in our everyday lives, how yep. we personally use it. Um, and then we started to look at lots of coding concepts using not just our microbit but actually in previous episodes with yeah, our with our of, makers yeah exactly so uh do you want to call out a few of them um, concepts? loops loops yeah absolutely i'll do that in green because we know yeah. now that the green category is loops on our microbit page and our make code page i remember the loops so well because i remember that was the obstacle course yeah <laughs> exactly so that was the obstacle course so remember loops was just when we had a set of instructions we can ask the program to repeat them or in my case with the obstacle course asking me to repeat them <laughs> which was quite tiring um what other ones corey my favorite conditional statements conditional statements and we've done loads of these we've started with them when we looked at our game yeah. our board game and we weren't even coding then, but we were already thinking like coders, remember? Yep. And then we came back into our code and we've actually done two episodes on conditional statements. We've done rock, paper, scissors, and we've done in our last episode, the temp thermostat, the temperature yep. sensor. So that was really useful. Um, another one I think that I would pick up on that we talked about, and it's in micro bit a lot, but actually it's across all programs, our inputs. Do you remember we talked about our inputs? Yes, and we talked about how the micro has so many different types of inputs. Mm. So it has the buttons, the temperature gauge, the exactly. motion sensor. Yeah, and that's in the micro specifically, but actually in all coding programs, inputs are just how the program has taken information yep. in from its environment. So yeah, in the micro case, there's tons, which is really, really cool. Um, okay, actually there's one more. I was trying to think there. I think we've also touched on, and we'll come to this again today, Variables. Variables. Yeah. So our variables were just pieces of code that we created in our program, and then we could reuse them over and over again wherever we wanted. Am I missing anything? Um, no, I think that looks like everything so far. Yeah, so well, if you're watching, you might have more, yeah. which is absolutely brilliant. You might have discussed other things you've learned, maybe not just even coding, because hopefully you've learned more than that as well. Um, but if we even look at this, we can see we've covered lots, lots and lots of code so far. And today we are going to go into this in more detail. So we're going yeah. to actually make sure that we're including all of these things, aren't well, we, Corey? Yeah. yeah, and it's going to be amazing because in today's episode, we're going to be creating a well-being picker. So now would be a good time to pause at home or in school and list four things that you do to help improve your well-being. Yeah. 
So Amanda, can you think of, you maybe think of two things that you do and I'll think of two things that I do to improve my well-being. Yeah, so, okay. So, well, first of all, we talked about this before that I was a PE teacher, so yes. I love being active and that's definitely a good way for me um, to take care of myself. I know I feel much better after doing some exercise. Yep. Um, and then another thing I do is, um, if I want to have a snack sometimes, if I want to have a healthy snack and you feel good about yourself, so I might have some fruit. So I have my apple with me today. Oh. Um, and I have some a banana and stuff, so I, I like to snack on those yep. things and then I feel really good as well. I, I don't know if you've noticed this, Amanda, <laughs> or anybody watching, but I love to dance. <laughs> so um, to improve my well-being, sometimes I might just throw in a little dance, do a little dance around the house. Bit of music. Bit of music, yeah. exactly, Absolutely. really helps improve my mindset. Um, the second thing that I actually like to do is to read. So I actually have one of my books with me today. Brilliant. So I can give that a read. I love reading too, because you kind of escape into a new world yeah. and you kind of forget what's going on around you and yeah. it's great. And yeah. you can really use your imagination. Sometimes I just get lost in the book and I'm yeah. like, I feel like I'm there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so for today's challenge, then we are going to make the micro bit be this wellness picker, okay? So I think what we should do is actually just plan this out, first of all. Yeah, what definitely. Do you think? As always, plan's good plan. and then we know what we're at when we're cold. Always. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to move your lovely mind map out of the way for I'm just going to have second. my water too because that's another thing that yeah, I enjoy. Yeah, I should have brought my water bottle in. Um, okay, so let's think of this as if we are the micro bit. So the first thing that we need to do is we actually need to give an instruction, don't we? Yeah. So how do we want this wellness picker to be able to work? Like what input are we going to use? Yeah. And I know we've used shake before. We have. So I'll leave this one up to you. Go on, what one do you want to go with? Well, we've used shake. We've yeah. used buttons. Yeah. So how about we do a different movement? So there's yes. tons of movements. Remember we looked at the options we had before? Yeah. Um, and we talked about how it has this sensor to pick up the movements. Mm -hmm. So maybe I know it can pick up tilts. Ah. And I know you can test that on the screen because we want to yeah. do everything that people can test on their screens. So how about we do a tilt, tilt to it. the left? Yes, it's yeah. something new. So we're going to do a tilt for our input. Yeah. Okay. Now, this wellness picker is actually going to be very, very similar to the rock, paper, scissors challenge, isn't it? Mm. Because if you think about it, I said there that I want this wellness picker to be able to pick one of these kind of activities at random. Mm. And if you remember from the rock, paper, scissors challenge, we got the micro bit to pick those at random too. Yeah. So the next part is actually going to be pick a random number. But how many exercises or activities did I say we were going to do? Well, we've done four there, didn't we? Yeah. So four is good. And hopefully everyone watching has picked out four now as well. So I'm going to say random number. And I'm going to say one to four. Yeah, one to four. Perfect. Okay. Now, what comes next? Well, we're going to have the mic, but we're going to tilt it to the left. It's going to set a variable, because yep. we have to do that to pick a random number. And then remember, we need to tell it what to do when it picks that number. Exactly. So it needs to be able to make a decision, which is our if then statements are conditional statements, okay? Yeah. And we're gonna need four of them. Yeah. So I'm gonna say conditional statement. Conditional statement by four. Perfect. And then we can kind of choose what we want to happen there, can't we? Yeah. Times four. So, so I suppose we'll just call out what, ex, what, we've, what we've picked there, exercises yeah. or activities so we've picked. Your first one was? I said exercise first. So okay. how about, um, one thing we didn't do actually on the obstacle course that I actually would do, just to loosen up a bit, would be like some jumping jacks. Oh, very so good. So maybe we do some jumping jacks? Yeah, so exercise is going to be jumping jacks. I know they're your absolute favourite. Well. She's always doing them around dream space. <laughs> <laughs> jumping jacks. Now, this is my favourite part because we're going to actually decide on how we want this to look on the micro bit. Ah, okay. So I was thinking, why don't we do like an animation? So we can have like this oh, yeah. and then okay. hands up in the air. Do it, that sounds really good. So I we're like going to have jumping jacks and it's going to be an animation. Anything else you want to add to that? Um, actually, I'm not even going to let you say because I'm going to skip ahead and I'm going to say that you're not only doing one jumping jack. She's so mean. <laughs> I'm going to make you do 10. Yeah. Is that okay? You're well able. I'm well able, but I was going to just leave it to be honest, but <laughs> of course I have to do more than one. So in a different color now, I'm actually just going to highlight what these would look like on the micro bit. Okay. So your by 10 would be what? That, that's our loop, isn't it? Yeah. 
So this is our loop. And our animation. Mm. I don't know if there is a jumping jack icon. No, well, like, we could definitely make it with our show LEDs. Exactly. Yeah. So this is going to be our show LEDs. Amazing. Okay, so that's our first one done. Perfect. Okay, our second conditional statement is then what? What was your second part? Oh, your, your food. Yeah, my fruit. Okay. So we can just write fruit. Fruit. And I think maybe for this one, Corey, we'll just do, we maybe do a string that says yeah. fruit. And maybe we can come up with some sort of an icon as well. Oh, yeah. But okay. We could do one or the other or both. So we'll put them both in as options. And then when we come back to them, we'll okay. know. Very good. So I just have LEDs there. Yeah. So perfect. I might try my luck at drawing a fruit. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> perfect. And then my one then, my third one was music. So I'm going to type this in here. Now, I'm really excited for this one because we know on the micro bit, there is an option for music. Yes, we can create some tunes. Exactly. So we can either create our own or just go with one of the pre-made melodies and we yeah. can decide that then. So I'm just going to say the music block is where I'm going to go for this. Yeah. And I have spotted before in the icon category that there's a music note. Oh, lovely. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. So we have a little visual cue as well. Exactly. So I'm just going to put icon here. Okay. And my last one was a book because mm. I love to read. So I'm just going to put reading. Okay. What do you think I should do for this one? Um, I don't know. What do you think? We could maybe say a string. A string. So read now. Read. Or you could do a number. So you could say read and then we could do a number like 10. So that's like 10 <gasps> minutes. I don't know. Yes. I love it. So it's going to be a string. It's going to be number. So it's going to be show string, yeah. show number. And you know what? I love reading so much. So I might do the little love heart icon. Ah, very good. Yeah. So and then, three. We have three instructions yeah. for that one. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, that's lots, Corey. We have lots to do. Lots to do. Okay. Yeah. So we know that we have our input, our conditional statement, and what we want in each conditional statement. Now would be a good time at home or in school to design your very own wellness picker. Because remember, yours might look different to myself and Amanda's because when we asked you to plan out the four activities that you do to improve your well-being, they might look a little bit different. Okay. Shall we get started on this? Yeah. Woohoo! I'm so excited. Okay, so I am going to hop back into my makecode.microbit.org and I am just going to create a new project. Okay, so I'm going to go to my home and I'm going to save this. Save your hard work. No, it's okay. Yeah. And new project. And I'm going to call this wellness. And press enter. Okay. So we have here our on start and our forever block, okay? But we know that we're actually not going to be using them because we chose our input, didn't we? Mm. So I'm actually going to bring these over and I'm going to delete them. And I'm going to go into my input category. So I'm going to click on inputs. But there actually isn't an option there for tilt left. But if you remember in a few episodes ago, we talked about how the arrow is our very best friends because what does it do, Amanda? Gives us options. Exactly. So I'm going to bring out on shake and I'm going to press the arrow and I have logo up, logo down, screen down, tilt left. Tilt left. That's the one we want. Spotted it. There we go. Okay. Now. The next part is actually going to be very similar to our rock, paper, scissors program. Because if you think about it, this wellness program or this wellness code is actually going to have a variable that's going to pick a random number between one and four. So now would be a good time to pause at home or in school and see if you can connect the first line of code. Okay. So. We know that we need to create a variable. Yeah. So I'm going to go into variables and I'm going to say make a variable. What will I call it? We'll say well-being picker. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Okay. So this is going to be our well-being picker. It really does what it says on the tin. Okay. And it's in caps, but that's just because I'm so passionate about it. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, okay. We know from last time with our rock, paper, scissors, we had to set our variable to zero. 
So I'm going to take this out and I'm going to pop it in. But remember, there's a second block of code that can actually fit into that zero. And last time we used our search bar to find it, didn't mm, we? So yeah. we knew we wanted a random number. So we just typed in random. But I was, I was watching closely and I spotted that it was a kind of deep purple color. Yeah, it was. And so, we're talking about numbers. Yes, random numbers. Where do you usually see numbers? Maths. maths. So if I click into maths and I scroll down, aha, there we go. There's the block of code. Pick random zero to 10. Remember the shape. It's going to fit into zero here with my connector. And all I have to do now is change it to one to four. So I'm going to say one, two, four. Whoops. Okay. Okay. That's the first part done. And now we need to start making decisions. So what do we need to bring out, Amanda? We need to do our conditions now to tell it what to do when it picks one, two, three, or four. Exactly. So our conditional statements are found in logic. And I'm going to bring out the first block of code here and I'm going to pop it in. Now, last time we talked about this plus button and how it's amazing because that's how we get the more decisions. So if we think about it, we need four decisions. So here's one. If I press the plus button, I get a second one, plus button, third one, plus button, fourth one. Perfect. So now I have four decisions. One, two, three, and four. Okay, here's the fun part. We get to actually now create this wellness picker. So, Corey, the music hasn't started. <laughs> You don't need to say. I know, I'm like preparing for it. Uh, <laughs> so what I need to do now is I need my comparator, remember? Because yeah. I need to compare and see if, if, if wellness picker is equal to one, yeah. then. Well-being picker. Oh, well-being. Oops. Um, I'm going to go into logic and I'm going to go to my comparisons menu and I have my zero equals zero. So I'm going to bring this out and it's lovely because it fits right into true there. Woohoo! Perfect. And from last time, the rock, paper, scissors is great for this, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's such good revision. I know that wellness, well, well-being picker, I don't know why I have that in my head. Well-being picker is actually a standalone variable that can fit in to zero here. So I'm going to pop in, take this out, and then with my connector, make sure I get it right this time. Brilliant. So if well-being picker equals to one, one. so I'm going to type one in here. Well then, and if I go back to my plan really quickly, what did I say was going to happen? Exercise. This Ooh, is my this is this my is yours. One. Okay, yeah. exercise. Now, we said that we we're going to create an animation. Yes. So I'm going to go into basic, and I'm going to bring out my show LEDs. Now I'm going to really have to try and look at this one. Okay. So Amanda, I might have to get you to just model how a jumping jack would look, please. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I suppose I would start, we'll start like this. Okay, so there's your head, your legs. And the arms out there. And your arms. To the side. Yeah, perfect. Woo I'm actually delighted with that. And then we could do that, we go up a bit. Okay. So arms maybe up higher and legs maybe okay. in a bit. I will try my look at this. Um, okay, so I'm going to do, these are going to be your arms, your legs and your head. Yeah, perfect. That's actually very good. Um, and then just Yeah, nothing. no, I think that's enough actually, Corey, because I'm thinking it's going to go like that ah, and that yes. and that if we loop it. Yeah. So I think two is enough. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so now let's throw our loop around and our loops are right here in our green category. And it says repeat four times. And I said I want Amanda to do this ten times, which is grand because I know I can just change this. So I'm going to make sure I loop that. Oh. Just pop it in here. Brilliant. Okay, repeat 10 times. Delighted. Anything else that we wanted to add to that? I think, no, I think that was, that was it. it. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Now we just move on to the second one. So I'm going to scroll up a bit. And now I have else if then. So I'm going to have to again bring out my comparator. So in logic, go into comparison and bring it out. And the slots in there. Again, I need to compare my variable against the number two. So I'm going to go into variables. I'm going to take out well-being picker and make sure I pop it into zero here, the first zero. And now it's else if well-being picker equals two. 
and there we go. So this was still your one and it yeah. was my fruit. Your fruit. Yeah. And we said we were going to use a string for this. Mm -hmm. So in basic, we know that's where we find show string. And here we go. Pop it in. And I'm going to say fruit. There we go. And an icon maybe. Yeah, if you want to try make an icon. Yes, go I'll do first. LEDs actually and try. And really is my creativity skills here today. Okay, an apple. Yeah, go okay. first. So that's what I have. You can model it on this. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, I'm going to say that's the stem and this is the apple. Yeah, perfect. I'm happy enough with that. Okay, now it's on to my one. Music. <laughs> so excited. Okay. Um, logic again. And if you know notice anything on it, it's the same yeah, steps. Yeah, we're going back through the same thing over and over, over again Over and over so again. it's really good practice oh, to see. Oh, 100%. Um, and I need my comparator again. And I'm going to pop it in here. Take out my variable, which is well-being picker, put it into zero, whoops, and say, if well-being picker this time is three, well, then we're going to play some music. So I'm going to pop into my music. There's, some, there's some pretty good um, melodies, isn't there? there so you is. might be able to get like a nice melody that you yeah, like. Yeah, that's like pre-made. Yeah, okay. go for it. Music, um, we have melodies, tones, um, Oh, Melody Advanced, so I see. Mm. Down further in Melody Advanced, there's Start Melody, and that's where all the pre-made ones yeah. are. So let's take this, and if I press the arrow button, I can actually have more music options. So I might go for, I don't know, funk. Yeah, go for let's it. Let's just do it. I don't know what it will sound like, unless I hit number three. And I might just point something out, Corey, yeah. on the screen, you might see that something has popped up underneath the micro bit. And that's because the micro bit itself, so this physical micro bit, doesn't have a speaker. So that if you did have the physical micro bit, and you don't need it, but if you did have it, to hear your music, you're going to have to actually connect up some crocodile clip leads to some earphones or to a speaker. That's the only way you'll hear it from the physical micro bit. But if you don't have it, that's fine because you can just test it on the screen and your device will play the music that exactly. you're coding. Exactly. So it's all good. Now, our last option is else, okay? Because if it's not one or two or three, it's going to be four, okay? And my fourth option was reading a book. Yeah. And I said I was going to use a string here to say read. And because I love reading so much, I was going to go back into basic and take out the show icon and the love heart. Yeah. Okay. So that was a lot of code there, but it was a lot of repetition of it the was. same code, okay? So at this stage, you have conditional statements down. Will we test this out? Let's test it. And we don't know what's going to happen here. No. We don't, it's genuinely going to be randomly yeah, picking. Yeah, because that's so literally the point we'll of the we'll see. We might give it maybe two, two or three tests, will we? Yeah, well, I want to make sure I get music because I'm in the mood for a dance. Okay, so let's test this. Yeah, have my apple ready. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Jumping oh. jacks. Go. One, two, two three, three, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Okay. Glad fair. I brought my water with me. Yeah, fair play to you. So you've done your jumping jacks. So let's see what other options we have left. Now we could pick jumping jacks again, of course, Corey. Yeah. Hopefully not. Yeah. But yeah. Could. Okay, will we try it one more time? One more time. Okay, let's do it. Oh, read. Read. Off you go. <laughs> over there to read your book. And while Corey's over there reading her book, we now want you to make sure that you go off, plan, design, and code your well being picker. Now, you, we have done four different activities. We're going to give you an extra challenge. We want you to have five different activities as part of your picker. And actually, don't just code and test on the screen. Go off and do the activities because it's really important to take care of your well being and take care of yourself. So that's it for today's episode of Dream Space TV. We hope you've had as much fun as us. Join us next time to continue the coding journey. See you then. Bye. Bye.